and it's really very cute around here. You know Jack Sparrow? Makes me remember Jack Sparrow, Pirate of the Caribbean. Okay, people just come to have recreational uh, activities. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? My name is Carlo Chino, the president. Today I'm very excited because today we are going to Olungupo City. We're actually going to visit my one of my long-time friends. You know, I've actually I've actually been to that place before, but you know, I haven't really like seen him for a very long time. So today we're going to be traveling to Olungupo and also we're going to be attending uh, his church program because also he's a pastor also in Longo Olungupo and also he's also married with also a kid. So right now we're already dressed up and right now we're about to go to the terminal, you know, to board the bus going to Peter. Then from Peter's, we're going to Kubao. Then from Kubao, we are going to be taking the bus transit traveling to Olungupo. And Olungupo is just like a five hours journey. I mean, let me say roughly four to five hours if there isn't any traffic and you know they're just one stop over so i want you guys to please stay tuned and enjoy this video but before i continue please if you know you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing you know turn on your notification bell so that you can be able to get future videos when i upload so with have no further ado i want you guys to please stay tuned and enjoy this video right now we are in uh Kubao city and uh we've got into the terminal and uh when we got there the bus was actually filled up i mean so we have to wait for around like an hour for the next uh, trip to be available so at the moment now uh, we are in chow king restaurant because we didn't take our breakfast when we're going out so we just you know take uh, lunch or maybe breakfast stuff like that so before we can go back to the terminal i'll wait for the bus hopefully so right now we are waiting for our order so finally we are in the doors right now and that's something i got to understand about kubao i mean most especially kubao especially and also Olungupo. i mean regularly there is always people in this place traveling all the time uh, it's not like maybe if you're traveling to like dagupan city or maybe you're traveling to other provinces actually when you go to the terminal people aren't that much but i got to understand that people usually travel to Olungupo, Zambales and uh, I think so big but just around those areas like maybe because it's more of like a touristic um, uh, place where people you know, get to travel I guess that's the reason but to my understanding I think people usually travel to those places regularly and secondly it's very close I would say it's like one of the closest cities close to Manila so I guess that's the reason so right now we are this is like 10 40 so probably around 11 o'clock the bus is gonna be leaving so we just have to wait and um, see when the bus is actually gonna leave right now Actually not in the main city we are actually in my friend's church just around this place here and uh, I want to wear my shoe right now to go inside the church because the church takes time to close and I don't really think I'm actually gonna meet him until the church closes so right now I'm just putting on my shoe and probably when the church is over I get to actually meet him and you know we can just you know have like some of like a chit chat and tomorrow also we are gonna be going to um, somewhere in the Subic Bay and also some of the interesting area around Olungopo and also some other close by city so next vlog is actually going to be very interesting but right now we have to be attending the church service because when today is Sunday and uh, it's been a while I went to church so I guess this is just like an avenue for me you know to um, come to church even before September actually uh, comes close and comes here so wearing my shoe and going into the church now what's today's how was today's church service? Like how was it? How was church service today? Like honestly, I was a little bit very scared, and I actually knew they actually going to close around 9 p.m. I was just very very sure. You say your body was shaking, really? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Why? Because of what? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Yeah. So we just closed from church just now, and um, waiting for my friend, my pastor friend, you know, to. So there are some visitors that came today sorry that place is actually very dark 
So we just closed right now and uh, I'm waiting for my pastor's friend, you know, understand? Because there are some visitors that came today, so they want to really, you know, take them out for dinner. So we have to wait in the church. But for the meantime, we have to go out to eat something because I haven't really eaten any stuff since morning. So right now, we just want to check if probably there are some places, you know, where you can actually find so that we can just eat something. They probably won't get home. We'll actually feel that hungry like that. Good morning, good morning, guys. And uh, actually, it's really... It was really a very very tiring day yesterday like you know we came back from uh we came from laguna let me just say we traveled away from laguna to uh olungapo city and the worst part is that we did not rest so we had to when we just go to olungapo city we had to you know stay for the church service so this church staff is started around two o'clock actually the church starts around one so we got there around two around 2 30 like that and then we stayed from two o'clock roughly to maybe around uh nine to ten o'clock so that was when we got home so i had to just brush my teeth you know you know take off my clothes and, you know i had to sleep off like that so today uh probably i really don't know exactly how today's actually gonna be like but i think maybe during the day or probably during the afternoon time we might i might uh be able to visit some areas probably you know i if you, i can actually check some of my previous video I visited the Aita forest like that. Uh, the place is actually located in Zambale city. So I don't really know, maybe I might be uh, opportune to go there. I really don't know. But I think uh, during the day or during the night time, I would like to, you know, do a walk through around uh, Olungapo city and how that place really looks like um, in the night, especially, you know, since it's, it's actually been a while I came to Olungapo city. So I really want to just see exactly, you know, how it really, you know, feels like, you know, during the night time. So probably um, I'll be going out around uh, maybe five or six around the time, you know, just, you know, uh, do a walkthrough around there. So I want you guys to please stay tuned because, you know, today is going to be kind of exciting. I don't really know exactly where we're going, but, you know, let's just see exactly how everything works today. So actually, you know, uh, I told you that I came to visit uh, a very, very uh, close friend of mine who lives uh, somewhere around Olungapo. So it's actually my very, 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 very close friend right from uh, Pangasina and we've been friends for roughly almost uh, six to uh, seven years. He's actually married. So he's the person who actually came to Sisopo. So can you actually say hi? Hi, good afternoon and God bless you all. Yeah, so he's actually like my very, very close friend. So right now we are on our way to one of the restaurants around Subic Bay. Uh, let's just, you know, go and just have a very nice time. And also I'm going to just show you around and show you how Subic Bay really looks like. So I want you guys to so please stay tuned and uh, let's go and see how it's, you know. Let's, show, let's say, explore. Compared to your other former church, uh, that one is actually going to be very hard to really find. If you mean you're not, someone didn't take you out for yes. the very first time. Yes. But so I got to understand that this area, is, the road is a corner, corner, like corner, corner. It has this zigzag exactly, formation. That's true, that's true. And if you're not really someone who really go through this road very well, yeah, you might Bank really... Bank road is quite safer than Baguio. Uh, yeah, Baguio also is really yeah. a very crazy place also. No, the interesting part about here is like, the, it's mountain, but still it's not like Baguio that, you know, it's... Yes, in this place is actually mountain, yes. Yeah. That's why I notice you guys, your water is really very cold. Even though you it just come out, it's just cold. Yes. But like Guna water, if you use it on your skin, it has issue. Yes, uh, it makes your color to change. Uh, yeah, you know. the weather here is good. That's why the Americans, you know. mostly tourists, comes around here very well. Mm, you know, this town is. An so right now we are in a uh, Subic Bay. I mean, not like Subic Bay. It's just like an area around Subic Bay. But I really. So, so this is like a pier environment. I mean, this place is. This is called the pier. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, wow. Well. Look at the place there. Sandra, uh, where, where are they finding? Probably, I think so. Yeah. But this, I mean, this fear is not really yeah, exist. Yeah, Does it really? Is it running? Oh, this is. They're going the Americans here. Yeah. International. Uh, this, this is, this is where the most of the products that they sell in Manila. This is where it yes. comes from. Yes. Skype, uh, American Army just, ships, Navy ships. Yes. Yeah, so look at that. It's an airport right. around that side. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's why the island of Barsi. <laughs> this place reminds me of uh, amusement parks uh, in Abuja, Jabi. Have you been to Jabi in Abuja? Yeah. This place just reminds me of uh, amusement park where people just come to have recreational uh, activities. Wow. Wow. 
so this area is just like uh, I mean I really I haven't been to this place because the last time I came to Subic Bay I mean we came through the other direction but I really haven't been to this place and this place kind of reminds me of um, Subic it reminds me of Jabi there's a place in Jabi in Abuja that I mean this area you know where people come to you know play sports and you know other things like that it just reminds me about this area and also there is also a water very close by actually this place is actually one of the areas where the Americans were actually occupying during the Vietnam World War so this is like a pier where the ships comes to you know park first and uh, it's not really in existence for now because you know uh, of course Philippines have taken over the whole place and uh, things are not really in impression up to now and I think the water is very very deep to, compared to uh, Manila, the seaport in Manila and the seaport in Cebu, this is not really that in function. I mean, I can actually see so many ships around here. Yeah, like just only one, two, three, and four. But when you go to Manila, you're gonna see clusters of ships like a lot. It's really huge. That place is really very huge. And of course, there is also light around here. But here, just look like a mini point. And I think majority, maybe is that a navy ship? Does it look like? Or like a sea, like a this cargo one. ship. The other one there. Yeah, that is a ship. Is that a navy ship? Is it navy? It looks like a navy I, ship. I think so. I, I don't. But it looks maybe, like. Yeah. Maybe. But majority of the ship here actually are uh, mostly for uh, like uh, no, no. I'm talking about like uh, mostly vessels that carries container on the back, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. I think so. Because I can see it's not that huge. The bar, and the cargo is under the ship. They actually put them. Uh, okay. Actually, I would have loved to actually record him, but he said uh, because of his child. The river looks like a river, but this place is as deep as anything. The road is. Ah, I remember when I went to uh, Bicol. Oh, we went to. We, you know where we lived? We live uh, at the. Uh, we live uh, Just. You know, this is a beach. That's the house. That's where we lived. Because it's just like this place. Oh. Yeah. Nah, no, it's not like this place. Because it's not developed like that. Yes, it's not really that developed. Okay, this is a silo. This is a silo. Yeah. Wow. So this is also part of Subic Bay. This is part of Subic Bay. Uh, this is part of Subic Bay. And, uh, this looks like an oil factory, like an oil reserve, a fuel station I guess so. This is like a fuel station company, Coastal. Restaurant. I mean there are so many, uh, there are so many uh, restaurants around this pier area. Guys, they video. No, don't worry, it's okay. You can enter inside, don't worry. Yeah, video man. Make sure if Facebook page you, this is, you remember This is Pirate of the Caribbean. <laughs> Uh, wow, this really looks very nice. This is a resort, isn't it? Uh, okay, hotel resort like that. Uh, well, maybe look at this stuff here. Looks like a fun. It's for the boat or plane? I think so. Ah, uh, really? The boat to actually yeah. okay, it's like a fan that uh, no, like fan, fan propeller that but makes the ship to go faster, the bar. Yeah, carry the baby. Okay. Come here, come here. I just bring this now. Ah, oh, careful. Oh, it's very very dark. I wish I came uh, in the afternoon time though, but I didn't come in the afternoon time. Uh, it's actually very dark. So we're actually in this uh, small resort. It's a Vasco's resort. We're just coming here, you know, to uh, have uh, it's like a dinner or lunch or something like that. So we're actually going inside now. Yeah. Good evening, Paul. Yes. Bro. Wow. This place looks like Pirates of the Caribbean. And look at the view. Shit. Man, look at the view. There. Is, I mean, just imagine you're sitting here. And it's really very cute around here. Wow. And that's the yacht, uh, like a mini boat. And I can see some white tourists there. 
and uh, babe, this place makes me remember Jack Sparrow. Can you show up the baby? You know Jack Sparrow? Ah, wow. Oh, babe, look at this. Pictures. Look at this, Okay, I think this is a I found in the water, babe. Babe? Wow. This is really, I mean, it makes me remember Jack Sparrow, Pirate of the Caribbean. This place makes me remember Jack Sparrow, mm -hmm. or Pirate of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Like, everything looks so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there are foreigners around here, I guess. Man, this place is insane. I tell you the truth, the view is insane. Like, yeah, man, it's really a very nice me. place. I mean, you can actually imagine. Oh, this one's not, they are bringing the or maybe canned food like that. See, see, actually, it's one to rent. This one, like 10 bucks. I mean, well, it's very deep. Wait, here, Bix, you remember, uh, you know, before when you were traveling to Bikoni? Like when the stuff, the mountain area, when it was the your dad was driving the boat. Remember the last time? I look at the sunset here, babe. It's very beautiful. So, so you say it's your first time actually coming here? Yeah, this is really. My, this is my third time coming to this place. To this place? Ah, really? I didn't know that. You see, there are many foreigners here. A lot coming to actually hang out. Yeah. These guys now, they are American soldiers that just settled here. Okay. Wow. Look so. Look at what is actually written on this place. Diary, look at it. I mean, I really don't know what it actually looks like, but this is the mark. I think uh, Australia or America actually have like a very huge uh, presence in this place. Because, and also, this is the sheep. I think one of the sheep, I guess, because it's, this is a, like a red sheep. And also, let me show you. These are also pictures. I mean, look at some crazy, crazy pictures of uh, tourists. I mean, how this place actually came into existence. I mean, look at it. I mean, crazy, crazy pictures. And this, I think these are also some of this cheap wreckage that happened some years ago. Let me look at it over here. It was actually placed on the toilet area. I really don't know why. And I think this is the ship, I guess so. I know those are the stuff which they actually found, you know, in uh, the sheep, you know, something like that. So, so right now we just actually finished eating and we're about to go home. And uh, yes, this is another side of the sheep. Sorry, the pier. I mean, just take a look at this place. It's really a very huge, huge, huge place. And you can see the pier there. Sorry, it's actually very dark because we came here very late so definitely you might not really see but that is the that is the port of uh, Subic Bay I mean this is how it actually looks like I mean I think the port is from this place down to this place so we're actually about to go home now Wait. oh I think they actually left me All right. uh, okay thank you come again uh, okay, 